Hello students, in this lecture we are going to study about set and set is the easiest topic over maths. So the basic definition is it is a well-defined class or collection of object and object can be called as element. So in your eyes whatever the things you can see um, over the wall that can be a human, animal, non-living element, tree, then uh, any food item, anything, those things can be considered under a set. But it up to you what kind of set you want to create. So the type of set is again uh, of many form. So well, let's see an example. Here A is X says that X is a letter in the English alphabet where X is a vowel. So you know that what are the vowels? It is A, E, I, O, U. So there are two forms you can see here. The first one is a set and second one is the descriptive format of a set. If uh, you have got the question A is X is that X something. So this, this will be called as descriptive format from which you will be easy to write that. It will be easy to write that what is the actual element of the set that is A, I, O, U. Or you can write here that um, A is X as that X is less than 10. Okay, so, uh, sorry, 0 is less than x is greater than 0 and it is less than 10. So, in this case, you can write that 1, 2, 3 up to 10. So, here you got to know that A is the set which is having element of 1 to 10. All, and always remember that set is always that starts with a curly bracket or flower bracket and it always ends with the same thing curly or flower bracket. In the second one you can see b uh, is equal to x is that x is an even number less than 8. So whatever the number less than 8 are also even that is 0, 2, 4, 6 that also you can write or I will give you one more example that uh, c is equal to x is that x modulus 2 is equal to 1 and x is less than 10. Modulus 2 equal to 1 means what? This denotes a odd number. So, what are the odd number present uh, within 10? What are the odd number? It is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So, these are the element of the set C. Uh, I think you are clear now. Then we'll see what are the uh, next topic we are going to cover under set. That will be a type of set, Venn diagram setup operation or set operations law of algebra of set and you can see that this particular topic is there for each and every unit of this discrete mathematics then finite infinite set and some counting principles so first we'll go for the type of set now what are the types of set there are different types but uh, the important ones i have noted down here accordingly we can go and see so first thing is the universal set universal set in the sense which consists all possible element all possible element means whatever the element exists in the world or in the universe everything you can uh, include within the universal set and this universal set is denoted as u okay and this u can be any number 0 1 2 up to n then a b c d up to z then uh, all like spatial character at the rate as anything all spatial character then all living and non-living things so it this universal set can be anything. These are the few things I have written, but it can be anything, whatever you can see or feel within the world. Okay. Next is the empty set. Empty set or null set uh, is the set which is having no element. So it is denoted as either phi or the set which is starting and closing with the curly braces. Then comes the subset. The subset is the, I um, will uh, tell you in easiest term. If you have two set like A is equal to 1, 2 and b is equal to 1 2 3 4 so here you can clearly see that whatever the element of a is completely present in b along with some extra elements so in this case a will be called as the subset of b it means every element of one set is is present in the other set clear because 1 2 whatever is there with a all together it is present in b and b has some extra element it means first a's element are there with, with that some extra element. So, A is the subset of B. 
you your clear then equality of set equality of set means if two sets or more than two sets are there or you can say more than one set where the element of the sets are exactly same so if i'm taking a a is having a b c and b is also having a b c so this known as equality of set where a and b element are exactly same then singleton set singleton set means the set which is having a single element disjoint set means uh, no common element like you uh, saw here that a and b is having exactly same element like that i'll take some example d is equal to x y z and e is equal to a b so here there is no common element present in between d and c so it is not equal so that is called as disjoint set and this will be all very clear when i'll go to the venn diagram that power set power set is if you are taking a set having one or two element then power set will be the all possible element all possible set of elements that that means a can be 1 2 1 2 together and 5 right so four different set so that is called as power set of a and power set is denoted by p of a and there is a formula that is 2 to the power n where n is the number of element present in a so if i'm writing it like this it means number of element uh, i'll explain it to you in the next video properly